She's a thick house. Da -da -da -da. She's mighty, mighty. Just letting it out, hang out. Thick House Season 1, Episode 3. Let's talk about it. Okay, first let's address the elephant in the room. I look fancier than normal. You'll understand when it's time to understand. Um, and of course, this isn't, isn't my regular setup in my apartment. Currently, it's Memorial Day weekend. It's the last day of freedom for the weekend. So, yes, I'm, I'm basking in it. I'm taking advantage of this natural light that I have to film this video. But on to the show. So, in this week's episode, the theme is active wear. It wasn't athleisure, it was active wear. So each of the ladies had to pose in like a basketball jersey from a different city with... Oh yeah, oh, we gonna ow. spice this baby up. We got Calvin. Okay, ow! Yay. And Stefan, so you can get a little one-on-one -on -one action if you know what I mean. So here come Calvin and Stefan to be the accessories the shoot if you know what i'm saying um so yeah the guys the male models come in they look good with the t um to partner up with the ladies for their shoot now while the ladies are getting glam this is when i found out that amarachi is married which is so dope um and they were talking about like how does her husband feel about her modeling like, Girl, how does he feel about so you i, got, I gotta like, let him man. know the, the, the cootie cat come home to you. So right. Whatever legs go up in the picture, that's just oh, for visual oh purposes. Right. Yes, honey. Take the cootie cat home to the hubby. Um, yes, for visual purposes. But anyway, the ladies get all glam and then they go to do their shoot. I think everyone did a pretty good job, but of course, as always, there were some standouts. So this week on set, we have Kelly helping the girls with their shoots and Kelly's just adorable. She is giving them feedback and different things to do and to try as they're doing their shoots. So this is kind of how it goes. I've been watching these two for a few minutes and I don't think that they really need my help to be quite honest. And of course, one of my faves, Lola, you know, said exactly what was on my mind, which was this. I am so excited to be modeling with that male model. They cute. By the way, I just want to have a moment for Takara's outfit in this here episode because I needed it in my closet. Okay, I need to go to her page and see if it's tagged because I need it in my closet. So fast forward to deliberation and the first one, <laughs> the first one to come in for deliberation is Jaleesa. And I just have to say, if my friends don't hype me up the way the judges hyped Jaleesa up when she was coming down the stairs to deliberation, I don't want it. I don't want the friendship. Hey, Jaleesa. Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Yes. So now, of course, we get into the best photos of the, of the shoot for the girls. I don't know. I have to say... Were these really the best photos? And this is going to potentially go down a rabbit hole because <laughs> now that I've done like the behind the scenes stuff of uh, ANTM, I'm like, is this production or is this really their best photo? But anyway, Jaleesa's photo was bomb. Okay. okay. <laughs> Confidence yes. coming through. Next up was Sunshine and... <laughs> Sunshine came down the stairs in this caftan. You know, I'll give her a pass. She said it was cold. So, you know, you're cold, but it's deliberation. You gotta, you gotta come to deliberation on and popping. Otherwise, you'll get comments like this from EJ. <laughs> Hi, Sunshine. Hi. How you oh, doing, baby? Yeah. Yes. She was giving birth. Just right. <laughs> Not she was giving birth. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Sunshine's photos are absolutely beautiful, especially the second shot, which was a winner. Check it out. Oh, love. yes. I love I that. I love that you guys went for it. Great shot. Shout out to Sunshine. Next up is Lola. Now, this is where I was like, was that really her best photo? Or was it production? I don't know. But this was a, <laughs> this was the judge's reactions. 
Okay. No, okay. no, it's not okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got another picture. Let's, let's look see. at this. Yeah, let's bring the picture. next one. Oh. Mm. You never want that. Oh. Okay. No, that is not the reaction you want from the judges. So I don't know. And Lola is so much better than that. We know, we have seen the material that Lola has to give. So it was unfortunate that those were her final photos, but you know, it is what it is. Moving on. So next up is Asia and I am officially calling slash titling Asia, the queen of looks, the queen of L-E-W-K-S, looks, okay? Look at how sis came, came through to see the judges. Ma'am. Hello. Ma'am. Hello. Amazing. Look yes. at that. That's look what we're talking about, baby. Yeah. Right. Asia is two for two. Y'all remember her outfit from last week? Let me re let me refresh your memory. This was the outfit from last week. Wait a minute. Can I see that? Turn around. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Killing the deliberation looks. However, <laughs> the actual photo shoots. Let's just go to EJ. <laughs> We're in the event of attraction. Ah! Oh, this cross. looks like a toxic relationship gone. <laughs> Do love this I one like a little more. This photo. He looked like a creep, but. <laughs> it's EJ's feedback for me, okay? But it did look a little toxic ish and fatal attraction ish, so he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. And, I, and, and it's not that it's a bad photo, once again, it's not the right photo. And he was right, like it wasn't bad. It was just the fact that this was supposed to be a photo shoot to sell the sportswear, to sell what they were actually wearing and shooting. And that's not what it was selling. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to have gave for the look. Anyway, next up was Amarachi and <laughs> Kelly was on her because her jersey was a Brooklyn jersey. And so, you know, Kelly is a New Yorker, okay? I will say I agree with the judges that this shoot was not the best as far as the results that were presented at deliberation. Um, but that's okay, that's okay. We still have a decision to make. So let's see who the bottom two girls are this week. Mm. <sighs> I was not a fan of that decision <clears throat> because two of my faves are in the bottom two. We got Asia, the queen of looks, and Lola, the queen, in the bottom two. And I was like, I need to speak to the manager of this situation. But anyway, so the judges deliberate and they decided. The model that would be going home this evening is Lola. Lola! No! Lola has been legit my fave from the very beginning, from the first episode of this show. But again, somebody has to go. Lola's gonna be okay. She is fire. She has the material. She's gonna be just fine. But dang! All in all, a pretty good episode, even though my fave got eliminated, but that's okay. The queen of looks, Asia, is still there, along with all of the other beautiful ladies. And looking at the preview for next week's episode, um, it's going to be a little wet. What if they tell me to get far inside of the water? Like, I cannot swim. When I come out looking like that Moroccan goddess, you're going to know what time it is. When Amarachi said, you're going to know what time it is, I was like, oh. I'm ready for the next episode. <laughs> I want to know what time it is. But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of episode three down below in the comments. Did you like the photo shoots? How do you feel about uh, about Lola getting sent home? Um, actually, who is your pick to win the whole thing? I'm not going to tell y'all. It was Lola for me. Yeah, so I'm just tell y'all because she's gone now. Um, but who do you guys think? is going to win it all let me know down below in the comments and again shout out to the shade room to ej kelly and takara for killing it every week with the looks and with the commentary um and yeah 
I'll see you guys back next week for another review of Thick House. Bye, guys.